my pleasure to introduce Josh Saul, who is our Deputy Secretary of Commerce for Housing. And I'm going to start by um, talking about the, the, my first introduction to Josh. It was the night before a blizzard we were having. It was a Friday night, probably around 8 o'clock, and I got a call on my cell phone from Josh. He said, we have to figure out where people are going to go tomorrow. And I said, yeah, we do. <laughs> Even though it's the 11th hour, we still have to figure out where people are going to go tomorrow. And I was just so struck by his human commitment to actually do the work. Like, he wasn't calling because he was an administrator of commerce. Um, he was calling because he really worried about the folks that might be out on the street and did not have a warm place to go in the impending blizzard. So. He saw me when he made that call, and um, I've watched uh, Josh continue to struggle with the realities of Rhode Island. <laughs> Josh comes from New York City um, and was instrumental in uh, finding creative ways to add thousands of units to New York City using city land and abandoned properties, so he knows how to do this work. Uh, he came back from New York after, to Rhode Island after having been here as a student at Brown, uh, where he did some volunteer work around housing, so he cares about this. Um, we have, I think, r run him down pretty seriously, and <laughs> he probably already wishes that he stayed in New York. <laughs> but um, I think in terms of a person who's not just dedicated to the housing for folks that are above the 80% AMI, but really truly caring about the folks that are at the 30% and below, the people that Amos House and Crossroads and House of Hope and Warren and all of my colleagues work with every day. So I'm really, it's it's my honor to bring Josh Shaw up this time. Thank you, Eileen, and thank you, everyone, really, at Amos House. Uh, I would say um, this work is something we all get into because we care. And I know that the staff at Amos House, the staff really at all our agencies around the state, um, reflect that level of care. And the Rhode Island is a small state, but a caring place. And whether that comes to the agencies that are providing shelter, landlords that are providing housing, we realize that the different partners here, we have to come together. And it's really something I want to stress because my office as well, uh, in OHCD, and we have Mary Rose and Jose both here today uh, representing us, they have worked tirelessly with the agencies to come at what is really an issue that, as the Lieutenant Governor mentioned, has been years in the making. Homelessness is a housing issue. And when I came here from New York, one of the things that attracted me, and one of the reasons why I came here is because this governor recognizes that. He doesn't think that there's homelessness and then there's housing and there's two different issues. He really understands that across the spectrum of different types of housing, we have to address all of the population's needs, whether they are currently homeless, whether they're currently graduating from college and are starting their first job, or they're becoming homeowners. And that gets me to my next point, which is really, that we often talk about the challenges of today and blame one party or the other and say that there's a dichotomy, a real false dichotomy between tenants and landlords. If we are gonna solve the housing issues that we have in this state, we need those same landlords just as we need the tenants to be working together towards solutions. And that's what this landlord challenge does. It calls upon landlords, some of them who, was, who were once themselves probably tenants, uh, to step up and to provide housing for people who are experiencing homelessness. My hope is that one day, perhaps some of these tenants themselves become landlords. As you know, a lot of people think about homelessness in a certain way that doesn't reflect the reality. We have people in shelters right now, families who work multiple jobs who are struggling because of the shortage of housing. That shortage, though, we are looking to address and the governor has proposed a historic quarter of a billion dollar budget to do that by increasing the housing supply. Nonetheless, we have to take action today. And I want to again thank my office, uh, all of our staff, all of the governor's staff, uh, all the staff at Amos House. I met some of the 
the folks working at the sh one of the shelters in Paducan and they're doing great work. And really all of the agencies, because if there's any way that we're gonna work through this and build a brighter future and a safer, more secure, affordable housing future for Rhode Islanders is by working together. And this landlord challenge really puts that forth to our landlords to bring in more people who are experiencing homelessness and house them so they have a safe, secure place where they can rebuild their lives and be meaningful contributors to our community. So thank you very much, and I'll pass it back to you.